good morning i am devisita in this lecture we are going to discuss about cellular system concepts and frequency we use topic cellular systems cellular systems are widely used today and cellular technology needs to offer very efficient use of the available frequency spectrum here is a representation of the electromagnetic spectrum in this we are specifically see the radio frequency band radio spectrum representation is shown in this diagram in this radio spectrum we are classifying the frequency band into very low frequency band low frequency band medium frequency band high frequency band very high frequency band ultra high frequency band super high frequency band extremely high frequency band and the various devices that are used under each frequency range is represented in this diagram with the billions of mobile phones in use around the globe today it is necessary to reuse the available frequencies many times over without the mutual interference of one cell phone to another early schemes for radio telephone schemes used a single central transmitter to cover a wide area this radio telephone systems suffered from the limited number of channels that were available let us see why the mobile phone is called as cell phone before the advent of a phone that you could carry around cellular means consisting of cells or something that contains cavities the definition for cellular changed to a new meaning with the concept brought forth by two bell lab engineers in 1947 named Douglas H Ring and W R Young they proposed a network that would be composed of hexagonal cells to allow mobile phones in cars to operate from one spot to another seamlessly the network layout would resemble that of a biological cell hence the term cellular but the technology to implement their concept did not exist at the time cellular concept is proposed by bell labs in the year 1971 geographic service is divided into smaller cells here is a representation of cells neighboring cells do not use name set of frequencies to prevent interference often approximate coverage area of a cell by an idealized hexagon the increase system capacity is done with the help of frequency reuse the cellular concept is a system level idea which calls for replacing a single power transmitter with many low power transmitters each providing coverage to only small portion of the service area it is this concept of frequency reuse that is at the very heart of the cellular technology however the infrastructure technology needed to support it is not simple and it is required a significant investment to bring the first cellular networks online as the demand for service increases that is as more channels are needed within a particular market the number of base stations may be increased along with the corresponding decrease in transmitter power to avoid interference thereby providing additional radio capacity with no additional increase in radio spectrum cellular radio systems rely on 
an intelligent allocation and reuse of channels throughout a coverage region. Each cellular base station is allocated a group of radio channels to be used within a small geographic area called SL. In this diagram, we are seeing the theoretical propagation pattern, cellular grid design, actual cellular grid layout, as well as the hexagonal cell representation. Geometrical shapes of a cell. When considering geometric shapes which cover an entire region without overlap and with equal areas, there are three sensible choices. They are square, there is a representation of square cell, and equilateral triangle, there is a representation of equilateral triangle cell, and a hexagon, there is a representation of hexagonal cell. Reason for selecting hexagonal cell. Regular polygons may be used to represent the cell coverage. Hexagonal cells are popular because their shapes are closest to circle. It allows tight cellular packing and perfect partitioning of the service area. The base station antennas are designed to achieve the desired coverage within the particular cell. By limiting the coverage area within the boundaries of a cell, the same group of channels may be used to cover different cells that are separated from one another by distance large enough to keep interference levels within tolerance limits. The design process of selecting and allocating channel groups for all of the cellular base stations within the system is called frequency reuse or frequency planning. Cells with the same letter use the same set of frequencies. Here in this diagram, we are having cells that is given by names. A cell cluster is outlined in bold and replicated over the coverage area. In this diagram, we are seeing three cell clusters. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video, means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.